Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I get to go paint again. Yay, it's been a little while. If you're new here, hi, I'm so, so happy that you come to join me. And if you're a returning viewer, <laughs> thanks so much for your support. I sure appreciate it. Today we're gonna to recreate a wow art daily challenge and I will put the link down in the description for you to go and check out the video that I'm actually going to be following along and I may just throw my own twist into it because that's just who I am. So I already prepped the canvas as far as tape is concerned. I like to use this one because I can cover a lot of ground real quick. All the colors will be down in the description. Let's just get I'm not making my canvas wet beforehand just because these paints are quite runny and it just becomes one big mess and I don't like it. But when I paint along with these, I'm not really intending to create a, like, an exact replica. It's more of a guideline. of two blues right now. More a lighter blue versus a more darker blue. I hope you all had a good spring break. I mean, I don't know where you are in the world and if you get one, but ours just ended. Kids are back to school. Really like this color. It is a beautiful, it's called sky blue and it's pretty thick. Which I like. See? It's creamy. Not all the paints I use are like this. So I don't want to overthink this. This is just like a base layer of blue. I do suggest that when you do this that you actually go from one way all the way to the other end. Otherwise you're going to end up with some really weird streaks. Not that this isn't weird, but if you stop your stroke midway on the canvas, it's gonna create a definite pause, like where you started and, or where you stopped and then started again, which I really don't like. So I try to go one way all the way to the end. Okay, so where do we want this mountain? Well, we're gonna have to make a decision. outline of this. Okay, need a little bit more. Like I said, I'm not making a complete and total replica of this painting. Using it as just a bit of a guideline here. So I'm using the root, like the edge. There we go. With enough paint on it, because you see the difference? That had paint on it, this didn't. paint off of the canvas. Oh, it's too wet. I was too quick in wanting to do this. And I don't want to overthink it too much because there's going to be trees kind of covering the side of the mountain there so I don't really want to put a whole lot of detail past this part here. Part, we're going to add in white. 
Now we're not gonna go white white right off the bat because then we can't make it any lighter than it already is. But it's still wet. I could cheat and use a blow dryer, but I'm lazy because it's downstairs and I don't feel like walking downstairs right now. So dry my baby, dry. So I'm taking the same blue that I use here and mix it with a little bit of white. Probably can see it. But we don't want, you know, our total highlights to be the biggest thing, right? That is very gray. So I'm not really thinking, I'm just putting it on. That's basically all she wrote. Okay, um, I think I want it slightly darker for that side. Um, and it's still in a dry dark, so I think I need more white to start with. So I'll mix the cerulean blue with some white. say I'm not like entirely proud of this yet but let's see we're gonna go in with the palette knife ta -ta. here's my palette knife let's see what we can do with this I'm always nervous when I use my palette knife because I'm not very good at it or so I think Look how bad, if I say so myself. I'm still gonna go in with like a white white. Um, you can still see the outline here, which I don't like. Well, I suggest that when you play with this, that you just mess around until you got what you like, because. There's no real rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. I do want it to look like it's a, the top is definitely covered in snow. But it's a spring-like painting, so it's not gonna be fully you know, because it's melting. If you live in any mountainous area, you know that that could be a problem for any st streams and, you know, lakes and rivers and stuff, because all that snow runoff sometimes causes floods. And we've had our fair share here. It almost happens oops, every single year, so expecting that again this year, too. Certain creeks just get really high, depending on how fast that snow is melting. This little hump here bugs me. I think there's still a ridge of snow up there. I think that looks 10 times better. 
I think we'll call that a mountain. Yeah. Okay, so I got green here, different ones, just to kind of get what I'm looking for, and we'll figure out exactly how as we go, because I don't ever really exactly know how. I just go. Oh yeah, and we need, and we need these two as well. Very, I like to use this with any kind of green that I work with. We're gonna go for a very simple little background. It's not gonna stand out much, so it's just not gonna be super detailed. So I just need to not overthink this. So I got some green and brown, and basically what we're doing is just like randomly sticking it on here. Like brown here. Here. It's a little bit more precise that way because I'm. Oh wow. That's a lot of brown! Well, I am trying to cover the blue part here. Just trying to figure out like where we're gonna make this run to. This. Yeah, probably. And then it's just a matter of blocking it in. And then we can always add a wee bit of green. You see, it's pretty dry. There's not a whole lot of paint on the brush. That's better. <laughs> because they made it a bit darker and um, I don't want to lift the paint so I'm just kind of pushing it in a little bit I don't want to lift the paint that's underneath it seems to be easier to go over top I'm in no me by no means wanting to create like grassy land really Molly Try to explain something here, kitty. Really? Really? Okay. Not to make it into like a grassy kind of texture. The reason I'm dabbing it is because I'm really trying not to lift any of the paint off by doing strokes. So that's the reason why. <laughs> Tap, 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 tap. Create some shadows, eh? Um, yeah, you can still see the underlying color, which is fine. We're gonna give this a shot. This may still be too light. dimension to the water. I also want to cover up any white areas that I left there, but still, it to me it still is 
terrible. Not impressed, frankly. struggling a little bit. I think I just need the plain blue. So we're gonna do a pathway from about here to here. Just a little hint, that's just my opinion. This is still a little bit wet, so I'm gonna see if I can just pull it. slightly different angle. I've zoomed in a little bit because I have been having issues with uh, the quality of the video. So it's zoomed in quite a bit. I'm hoping it's giving you a little bit of a better perspective here. And I am going to start working on the little bit more detail on the bushes in the background. I'm going to use just a flat brush to mix the paint. And then I'm going to go in with this guy because this one is pretty big. And I don't want to lose a bunch of paint like right into the bristles while I'm trying to mix it. There's not a whole lot on this brush to be honest, but I'm being careful with how I'm going to lay this on here just because I don't want to overdo it. No, oh, that's nice. I like this. I like it. I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've got a bit of a lighter uh, color going now. Like it's almost dry already, so that's good. That's a different orientation there. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I'm losing a little bit of that brightness, but that's okay. We'll just go up in here just to add a little more color. Well, this, yeah, like you can see here, it's a lot more textured. Just want to soften it up a wee bit. I'm going to go right over what I already did. So I just want to soften it a little. Now it becomes a blob. 
don't want blobs. <laughs> we'll bring in a little bit of texture back in there. We'll just add some yellow. There we go. Tie it in a little bit with the rest, otherwise that looks like a weird spot. Bit of yellow here, bit of yellow there, bit of yellow everywhere. Remember guys, this is still just background. Like we're gonna be covering this up mostly with blossom trees, so not as huge of an importance for as far as detail is concerned. I'll do the corner of this brush to create this down here. It's gonna be kind of the same. Uh, it just looks like in the video, I'm just checking the video, it is a little bit lighter. So a little bit of a lighter green than that. So we can definitely do that. So we're gonna put in the grass on this side and put in the grass on that side. There we go. So yeah, this has a wee bit more brightness to it than that. So, which I kind of like. So I'm gonna go back over. And maybe bring it down towards the water a little bit more. Not too much. Oh, wow, good job, girl. Yeah. No mistakes, right? Happy accidents. So we're gonna do the fan brush and I'm gonna put on a little bit of like a yellow and a like light green. All right, so here it is. I'm going to take a little bit of excess paint off because what I really want to do is just use the corner to go dab, dab, dab in like tiny little details. Just using the corner of this. So I don't really need a whole lot of paint on there. Some of it to kind of go towards the water a little bit more. So yeah, yeah. So it's not like a straight, straight edge. Like nature usually doesn't have super straight edges. If you see anything that's symmetrical, it's usually man-made. And again, I don't want to work too many details in because I forgot kind of what the end result is gonna be like, so. And theirs looks a lot more like a bank with bushes going like down. Eh, mine looks like this. Works for me. Doesn't have to be the exact same. So along the edge here, boom, we're just gonna throw a bunch of trees. Okay, there we go. Loaded with paint and we're gonna just try to, we'll just stick one here first. I'll just have to going here. Nice. These are just kind of a outline of the trunk. I'm gonna get in there for details in a little bit. I've said in previous videos that I don't have the steadiest of hands, which is true. So I tend to just not really make super straight lines. I just kind of go where the wind blows kind of thing.
the artist in the wow art video is a lot faster at this. Um, I like to spend my time doing this actually because I really enjoy putting branches on trees and whatnot. It's like one of the things I really really like to do. So I find that it just starts bringing your painting to life real quick and I'm enjoying the process. Like I mean who says I have to be in a hurry, right? No one. No one says you need to be in a hurry. Unless it's the government wanting you to pay something. Well, I don't really think there's a whole lot of explaining usually on these kind of like it's just basically drawing lines with your liner brush uh, not that difficult slight little side trunk here just because we can But I barely have anything on my brush here. It is very light, it just needs to give that impression and that's about it. So what I'm gonna do next is gonna play with these colors. They use a magenta. I don't have a magenta, but I could probably get one. Whoops mixing these colors. So we're just gonna have fun with that and figure out, you know, as we go. I'm starting with this guy here, just to put down the base. Now I could do a bigger one so I could do this faster, but I don't know. I just feel like going in with this one today, so that's what we're doing. There's our color. May not be the same as what they have, that's fine. So all we're gonna do is lay down the color for the back part of this tree. So just tapping. These are blossoms because spring has kind of sprung. to cover that mountain. It needs to be in the background. That's what it's for. I always start a little careful because you can't really take away. You can add. difference maybe I'm not sure if the camera picks it up but this is drying and it's drying darker which is good because we want it pretty dark because it's a shadow right I think we're gonna come in like from this end just pretending there's another tree like just off the edge of the canvas side. Rinse and repeat basically.
going from darker, dark to lighter. So that's all I'm doing is I'm adding some lighter colored pink and purples as well as white just to create a lighter highlight and just keep layering it, layering it, layering it until I got it where I want it. Oh, and a different question, because this is kind of a longer video, right? Do you like it when I cut these guys up in different parts, or do you want to see the whole thing at once, even though it's maybe longer than half an hour? Just throw me a line in the comments. Barely touching the canvas here, you guys, barely. Because otherwise you get this, and it's a bit of a blob, but I think I will be able to remedy that, hopefully. But like this is like petting the canvas. Fast forward, I think we're done with the blossoms right now. And we're gonna work on a couple of little flowers down here. So some bluish, maybe kind of a whitish type flower, something going on in this grass, and then some reflection off this into the water. I'm just gonna randomly place some flowers and I'm just using the edge. Well, there you have it guys. This is a, a wow art recreation and it's number 184. I will put the link at the very end of this video. I also put it in the description. Feel free to do this yourself. It wasn't really all that hard. So have a wonderful day. Stay happy, keep your peace. See you in the next one. Bye.